At first glance, Best Foods and Hellman's may appear as rival companies in the mayonnaise industry, each boasting a strikingly similar branding style. With Best Foods dominating the Western US and Hellman's holding sway in the East, they present a unique case of two seemingly distinct entities with a shared knack for crafting high-quality, creamy mayonnaise, sparking curiosity about their historical backgrounds and business trajectories in the American market. Best Foods, a brand synonymous with mayonnaise in the Western United States, has its roots deeply embedded in early 20th century food culture. Established with a focus on quality and taste, Best Foods quickly carved out a niche for itself with its signature mayonnaise recipe. The brand's early success was driven by its commitment to using only the finest ingredients, a strategy that set it apart in a competitive market. As Best Foods expanded, it became known for its creamy, rich flavor which appealed to a growing customer base. The brand's growth was marked by strategic marketing and distribution efforts, ensuring that its mayonnaise became a staple in American kitchens. Over time, Best Foods solidified its position as a leader in the mayonnaise market, becoming a household name in the West and synonymous with premium quality. This foundational period set the stage for the brand's enduring legacy in the food industry. Hellman's Mayonnaise, a brand deeply rooted in the eastern United States, began its journey in 1905 when Richard Hellman, a German immigrant, opened a delicatessen in New York City. Hellman crafted a unique mayonnaise recipe that quickly gained popularity among his customers for its rich flavor and creamy texture. This initial success prompted Hellman to start selling his mayonnaise in bulk, using distinctive blue ribbon packaging to signify its quality. The brand's growth was swift and steady, driven by Hellman's unwavering commitment to quality and the burgeoning demand for mayonnaise as a staple in American cuisine. As Hellman's expanded, it maintained its reputation for premium quality, setting it apart from competitors. The brand's ethos, centered around using the best ingredients for a superior taste, resonated with consumers, securing Hellman's a place in the hearts and kitchens of many American families. By the 1920s, Hellman's mayonnaise had become a household name in the East, symbolizing culinary excellence and tradition. Its success was not just a testament to the product's quality, but also to Richard Hellman's vision and entrepreneurial spirit. This rich heritage laid the foundation for Hellman's to become one of the most recognized and beloved mayonnaise brands in the United States. The geographical expansion of Best Foods and Hellman's is a tale of strategic growth and market penetration across the United States, shaped by regional preferences and culinary trends. Starting from its Western US origins, Best Foods expanded its reach by capitalizing on the diverse culinary landscape of the region. The brand adeptly navigated the varied tastes and preferences of the West, from the health-conscious consumers of California to the more traditional palates in the Pacific Northwest. In contrast, Hellman's, rooted in the East, grew its presence by aligning with the distinct culinary culture of the Eastern seaboard. The brand became a staple in homes, reflecting the traditional tastes and recipes of the region. As Hellman's expanded, it maintained its reputation for quality, becoming synonymous with mayonnaise in the East. Both brands faced challenges and opportunities as they expanded. They had to adapt to regional taste preferences, economic fluctuations, and evolving consumer trends. The rise of national supermarket chains in the mid-20th century played a crucial role in their expansion, allowing them to reach a wider audience through broader distribution networks. As they moved towards national presence, both brands maintained their regional identities. Best Foods, known for its rich, creamy texture, resonated with the Western audience's preference for bold flavors, while Hellman's, with its slightly tangier profile, continued to appeal to the traditional tastes of the Eastern US. The expansion was not just about geographic reach, but also about integrating into the American culinary narrative. Both brands adapted to changing dietary trends, such as the introduction of low-fat and organic variants, to meet the evolving demands of health-conscious consumers. Their growth strategies also reflected wider economic and technological trends. Advances in logistics and transportation facilitated a more extensive and efficient distribution network, enabling both brands to penetrate further into the US market. 
Additionally, the advent of mass media and later digital marketing opened new avenues for brand promotion and consumer engagement. Despite their national reach, Best Foods and Hellman's have retained their distinct regional identities, a testament to their deep-rooted brand heritage and their understanding of regional culinary preferences. Today, they stand as two sides of the same coin offering similar products tailored to the diverse tastes of the American palate, embodying a unique story of regional success and national dominance in the mayonnaise industry. The distinct culinary landscapes of the East and West Coasts in the United States significantly shaped the competitive strategies of Best Foods and Hellman's. The West Coast, known for its diverse, health-conscious and experimental culinary culture, influenced Best Foods to innovate with offerings like organic and low-fat mayonnaise varieties. This approach catered to a market that valued dietary flexibility and eco-consciousness. Conversely, the East Coast market, characterized by a preference for traditional and consistent flavors, aligned well with Hellman's focus on classic mayonnaise recipes. This difference in regional tastes led Hellman's to concentrate on maintaining a familiar, reliable taste profile. Their marketing strategies also reflected these regional preferences, with Best Foods emphasizing innovation and health, while Hellman's focused on tradition and familiarity. This strategic regional differentiation allowed both brands to establish strong footholds in their respective markets, setting the stage for their eventual merger under Unilever. Each brand's deep understanding of their target market's culinary preferences and lifestyle choices was pivotal in their success and growth. The acquisition of Best Foods and Hellman's by Unilever was a pivotal moment, marking a strategic consolidation in the mayonnaise market. This move allowed Unilever to harness the regional strengths and loyal customer bases of both brands, while optimizing their operations, distribution and marketing strategies. Unilever's decision to maintain the unique regional identities of Best Foods and Hellman's ensured continued consumer loyalty and market presence. This acquisition represented a fusion of culinary cultures, establishing a unified yet diversified presence in the global food industry. The merger of Best Foods and Hellman's under Unilever was a strategic move that balanced the need for operational efficiency with the preservation of each brand's unique identity. Unilever recognized the value in keeping the distinct brand images of Best Foods and Hellman's, which had strong regional followings. Simultaneously, the merger allowed for streamlined production and distribution processes, leveraging economies of scale and unified resources. This strategic approach ensured that both brands could continue to thrive and grow while benefiting from the efficiencies and global reach of a larger conglomerate. Prior to the merger, both Best Foods and Hellman's reigned supreme in the U.S. mayonnaise market, holding distinct brand identities and loyal customer bases. The merger consolidated their strengths, establishing them as the unquestionable market leader. This consolidation yielded significant benefits. Market power, the combined entity, wielded greater bargaining power with retailers, enabling them to secure better deals and shelf space for their products. Brand recognition. Merging two household names amplified their brand awareness, reaching a wider audience and further solidifying their market dominance. Economies of scale. By combining production and distribution networks, the company achieved significant cost savings and operational efficiencies. The merger aimed to capitalize on synergies beyond just market share. Here are some key areas where the combined entity aimed to achieve significant improvement. Cost savings. Streamlining operations and eliminating redundancies offered potential cost reductions in areas like production, marketing, and administrative functions. Cross-selling and upselling. Leveraging the strengths of each brand in different market segments opened opportunities to cross-sell and upsell products, expanding their reach and audience. Marketing and advertising. By pooling their resources and expertise, the merged entity could develop more effective and impactful marketing campaigns, reaching a broader audience and reinforcing their brand image. Research and development. Combining R&D resources and expertise allowed for a more robust innovation pipeline, accelerating the development of new product offerings in the mayonnaise category. 
While the merger presented exciting opportunities, it was not without its challenges. Culture Clash Merging two established companies with distinct cultures and management styles could lead to employee resistance and challenges in unifying operation. Brand management, striking the right balance between maintaining the unique identities of both brands and leveraging the combined brand strength was a complex task. It integration, merging different IT systems and data posed significant challenges, requiring careful planning and execution to ensure smooth integration and avoid disruptions. Regulatory scrutiny, Antitrust concerns and regulatory approvals could delay or hinder the merger process, requiring careful navigation and compliance with relevant regulations. To ensure the long-term success of the merged entity, Unilever needed to focus on several key factors. Effective communication, transparent and consistent communication with employees, stakeholders and customers was crucial throughout the integration process, addressing concerns and ensuring everyone understood the benefits of the merger. Cultural integration, fostering a collaborative and inclusive working environment that respected diverse perspectives and encouraged collaboration was essential to overcoming cultural differences and ensuring employee buy-in. Brand differentiation, while leveraging the combined strength of both brands, it was important to maintain the unique identities of Best Foods and Hellman's to cater to their respective consumer segments and maintain loyal customer bases. Operational Excellence Streamlining operations and implementing best practices across the combined entity were crucial for achieving cost savings and improving efficiency, maximizing profitability and competitiveness. Innovation Continuously developing new products and marketing campaigns was vital for staying ahead of the competition and driving growth in the dynamic mayonnaise market. The merger of Best Foods and Hellman's marked a significant turning point in the mayonnaise industry. By leveraging their combined strengths and successfully navigating integration challenges, Unilever has positioned itself as a dominant player in the market. Moving forward, the company's continued focus on communication, cultural integration, brand differentiation, operational excellence and innovation will be crucial for maintaining its market leadership and driving further growth in the competitive mayonnaise market. In conclusion, the journey of Best Foods and Hellman's, from their origins to the post-merger period under Unilever, showcases a successful blend of regional loyalty and global strategy. Despite being under one umbrella, both brands have maintained their distinct identities, catering to regional preferences while benefiting from shared resources and expanded reach. This case exemplifies how brands can preserve their unique heritage and consumer relationships, even amidst corporate mergers, ensuring continued relevance and market dominance in their respective territories.